will you know when the mark of the beast arrives? Don't worry, I made a checklist. Now the checklist is not from my imagination, it is strictly from the Bible. One of the main passages that talks about the mark of the beast is found in Revelation chapter 13. There are absolutely unmistakable events that happen in Revelation chapter 13, and if we don't know what to look for, then it's going to be really easy to get deceived. Now one super important thing to understand is that the beast is another word for the Antichrist. There's also a second beast mentioned, and that second beast is the false prophet. There absolutely will not be a mark of the beast, aka a mark of the Antichrist, until there is a revealed Antichrist. So let's find out what the Bible says about him specifically so that we'll know him when we see him. First of all, the Antichrist is going to be a global leader that is empowered by Satan himself. Most of the world is going to be completely in awe of the Antichrist and they are going to want to follow him and eventually worship him. The Antichrist is going to appear to be indestructible because for one, he's going to have some kind of head wound that renders him dead and then he's going to have some kind of false resurrection event and then the world is going to say, who can make war against this man? The Antichrist eventually is going to openly speak words against God and his followers and everything that we regard as holy. The Bible says that the Antichrist is given authority specifically for three and a half years to make war against the saints, and it does say that he's going to be successful. I know that that's rough, but I promise you it's in the Bible. There's going to be a persecution of Christians that is bigger than anything we've ever seen in history. He's going to have his own version of a sidekick called the False Prophet. The Bible says that the False Prophet is going to work signs and wonders, even making fire come down from heaven. In the mix, there's going to be some kind of idol or image that has the ability to speak, and the False Prophet is going to direct people to worship whatever this idol or image is, and the Antichrist himself will demand worship. The Bible says it's actually the false prophet that forces everybody all over the world to get the mark of the beast in order to buy or sell. And as you know, it goes in the right hand or in the forehead, and it's needed to buy or sell, and it is connected to the number 666. The devil is a deceiver, but God is not a deceiver. God is not going to lay out clearly in Revelation chapter 13 what the conditions are for the mark of the beast, and then roll out the mark of the beast when none of those conditions are present. Even if the Antichrist is alive and well on this planet, he most certainly has not been revealed yet. It's also really important to know that as the times get closer and closer, and the world gets darker and darker, we're going to see a lot more things that look like the mark of the beast. We're going to see a lot more things that have 666 in it, or even Luciferian names included. And I think it's important that we wholesale reject those things, even if they're not the official mark of the beast. But I do also think we have to be super careful calling things that are not the mark of the beast, the mark of the beast, because then baby Christians or uneducated Christians are going to think that they've lost their salvation when that simply isn't true. The Bible also makes it really clear that true Christians are not going to be deceived. The world is going to be deceived. It's going to be 100% obvious to Christians what the mark of the beast is, and they're not going to take it. That's why they're going to get martyred. But the world is going to be completely deceived. So if anybody tells you something is the mark of the beast, ask them who the Antichrist is, when he died and had a false resurrection event, ask them who the false prophet is, ask him how that he's calling fire down from heaven, and ask them what the image is that is created but yet can speak and is being worshipped by the masses. Until we start to see some of those things, we might be incredibly close, the spiritual forces might be in motion, but we're not quite in those times yet. God bless.